Hi, my name is Tindai and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is about my injuries from the road accident I had on the 1st of June 2021, which was last Thursday morning. Yes. So um, around 9.20 a.m., between 9.20 and 9.30 a.m., I was traveling on Oxbridge Road going northwest and I came up to a junction between Old Oak Road and Oxbridge Road and it was a car turning left um, ahead of me so I moved into the middle of the road to go past it and next thing I knew I was biting the road. Uh, there was no one else involved, the car turned left and touched me, the car went to turn right didn't affect me, it was actually a sunken manhole cover um, in the road which was more than six and a half centimeters deep. Um, the defect i think the the, the statutory uh, allow allowance is like four centimeters and this one was um six and a half centimeters and four and a half centimeters at its shallowest um i hit it didn't even realize that uh, uh, it was there and it caused me to um, lose control of my front wheel uh it literally just twisted under me and i, I uh, the bike stayed where it was and I carried on traveling by myself. When I say the bike stayed where it was is it stopped moving until I my legs pulled it out as I, as I went over it. Um, I hit the road with my chin and my mouth first, shattering my, 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 my front teeth. Uh, so I've lost, well, I've shattered three front teeth. I've just had a dentist appointment today. I've just come back from the dentist and they've put uh, and now more crowns on my teeth uh, because my nerves were exposed and they were quite sensitive and I was a bit disappointed that the NHS didn't actually um, refer me to a dentist so I could have the um, nerve protector so I don't lose my nerve or my tooth. Um, hopefully that won't happen. Uh, it's been four days since the accident and I hope it doesn't happen. Um, my advice is Please, please pay attention to the road ahead. Um, I do that all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm notorious for that. I think I've only ever had one or two punctures from hitting a pothole. Um, most notably just before the trip to Lake District about a month ago now. Yeah, about a month ago now. So yeah, um, defects in the road are extremely dangerous for cyclists, even for motorists as well. I know motorists that I've had their uh, alloys damaged from hitting potholes or that I've been involved in uh, road accidents because of potholes. So yeah, be mindful of the road surface. Always pay attention to the road surface as well as your surroundings. Um, your focus must always be 100% at all times. Uh, otherwise, you will end up losing your front teeth or worse. I'm very lucky. Um, my jaw's a bit painful, that's about it. Uh, I didn't break my jaw. I'm very lucky for that. I didn't break my neck because I face planted, but then I then rolled over my, 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 my head and let, landed on my back because of the um, momentum that I was going at. I was lucky that the uh, extent of my injuries is just mainly my face, my teeth, and my, my right shoulder. Again, I, I think I got a rotor cuff injury in my shoulder, and I think I got a slight, I don't know if it's a tear or a, a bruise or a strain. Um, my quad, um, one of my quad muscles, probably where I hit my handlebars as I went over um, the handlebars because they, they, I think they twisted to the left, if I remember correctly, whacking me in my in my um, inner thigh basically, which is which is quite painful at the moment. But yeah, um, slight damage to the bike, nothing that can't be fixed. Uh, most important thing is I walked away. I'm very grateful that I walked away. I'm very lucky that I walked away because there was cars behind me. There's cars waiting to turn. So yeah, it could it could have been a lot worse than it really is. So I, in closing, I just want to say, be safe out there. Be safe out there. Be be very very safe. Be aware. Check the surface. Don't worry about the cars behind you. Always make clear signals. Um, and yeah, just just be mindful of uh, the surface that you're cycling on because it is extremely extremely dangerous. Here's the proof. Here is the proof. Um, yeah, here's the proof that it is extremely dangerous. Yeah.
So take care of yourselves. Um, always look where you're going. Always make clear signals when, when, when cycling. If you're turning left, turning right, looking to pull out because of a defect in the road. If it's not safe for cars to go past, uh, take a position in a road that does not allow them to squeeze past because some drivers will try and get past you no matter what, forcing you into those defects and maybe you ended up coming off your bike or even worse, ended up underneath a car or a bus or a lorry. So always take up a position on road that ensures your safety. You have to command your own safety. Don't think that they're gonna make sure that you're right because they don't care some of them. Some of them have just lost their minds. Uh, some people are still um, compassionate. Some people are still quite, quite um, got that human touch where they, they, they empathize with people and still care for human life and value human life. So they'll, they'll, they'll hang back and give you space and time. And no matter what is going on in their day, nothing is worth putting you in any kind of danger or harm. So there's drivers out there that are amazing. Thank you very much to you guys who always give space, give time. And, and, and make sure that we're always safe out there. Uh, those of you that um, are impatient, nothing is worth harming someone else. And you gotta look at it like this. Those cyclists, like myself, are someone else's child. Now, the question is, if you've got children, how would you like other drivers to drive around your kids? Because what goes around comes around. Might not happen to you might happen to your child. So, when you're going past people, when you're driving, when you're doing whatever, make sure you treat people how you want to be treated, or how you want your kids to be treated, or how you want your loved ones to be treated, because we are all one massive family, and we need to look after one another. It is down to us to look after one another, because it is quite evident that we are all in this together and alone, yeah? All right, cool. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you stopping by and listening to what I had to say. I am feeling good about this. I'm a bit gutted because my smile, I loved it. There was nothing wrong with my teeth, but now I'm having to have my teeth mess around with. I might even lose my, 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 my teeth and get um, implants put in, but we're gonna wait and see if my roots survive. Um, I hope I don't have to have a root canal because when I don't, I hope I don't have to have implants. I hope my teeth survive. Um, I'm very hopeful that my teeth will survive. I'm going to do everything that I can health wise to make sure that, that that happens and I give them the best chance of surviving. Other than that, I'm hanging in there. I'm very positive, um, strong, lucky my, 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 my. Uh, good eating has meant that my bones are solid, so are my teeth. Whereas it could have been a lot worse than it really is, considering, uh, seriously, the way I hit the road. I was travelling about 14 miles an hour. Um, maybe, yeah, 40, maximum 14 miles an hour. And I hit my face on the road at 14 miles an hour. Maybe more because of the momentum of going forwards and my, my body weight behind it. You know, I'm quite, I'm what, what am I? about between 77 kg and 80 kg so you can imagine that force on my just my 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 my, my face hitting the ground so yeah very lucky I, I know how lucky i am but uh yeah thank you very much for your well wishes all of you that have been wishing we well and uh i'll see you on the other side cheers